Hey guys, my name is Valerie and this is a channel about America. In this video, I want to share with you steps which you need to follow in order to apply for community college. I'll do my best and I'll try to explain everything in details and I hope that at the end of this video you'll understand that it's not that complicated to apply for a community college on your own. And of course we're gonna talk about international students here, so if you're living in any other country but the United States and your dream is to go to America and get an American education, keep on watching. So if you want to study in America, you don't have to go to university right away. Community college is also something to be considered. There are some advantages of going to a community college instead of going to university. First of all, you don't have to pass any complicated exams like SAT or ACT. In order to apply to a community college, you have to pass only English exam, which is IELTS or TOEFL. A community college might be also a great option for those of you who is not that confident in the English. So if you're still afraid that you might not understand everything what your teacher will talk about, yeah, you should go to a community college first because education system there is not that difficult as it is in university. A community college will also be a great option for those of you who's interested in technical specialties. Moreover, there are some degrees in community colleges which called AAS degree and when you pass this degree, you'll have a chance to work in America. So you study for two years in a community college and after that you'll get your work authorization for one year and during that year you'll be able to practice. You'll be able to work in a real American company and practice all the skills you gained during your education. And of course, if you are a great worker, a company might offer you a work visa after that. So. Keep that in mind. So the process of the applying to a community college is really simple. The first thing you need to worry about is to prepare and pass your English exam. It might be IELTS or TOEFL exam. IELTS exam is more popular in Europe and TOEFL is more popular in America. But most of the colleges, they accept both IELTS and TOEFL scores. But in case you want to make sure that you're taking the right exam, just check what college website is saying about which exam scores they're accepting. To pass TOEFL or IELTS exam, you have to prepare for those exams first. So it took me around, I guess, five to six months to get ready to that exam and I passed it really well. So my recommendation would be if you're planning to go to a community college anytime soon, maybe like in a year or something, start preparing for your TOEFL or IELTS exams. I'm pretty sure in your country you might find some courses which will help you with the preparation or you can study on your own, of course. To pass TOEFL or IELTS exam, you just need to Google where can I pass TOEFL or IELTS exam in my city or in city close to my city or whatever. And it will bring you up a list of locations where you can do that. You will have to apply and register for that test first and it might take around like a month or two before the day when you actually can take the test. So plan that ahead. And it also is not free, unfortunately. Three years ago when I was passing this exam, I paid 160 bucks for that. But in your country, there might be different prices. So you definitely should check that before you apply for that or before you decide to go to a college. You can start looking for a college before you pass your English exam while you're preparing for English exam or after you got your scores already. What I did is I passed my IELTS first, I made sure that my score is good enough and just after that I started looking for community colleges because I just wanted to make sure that I won't be disappointed, you know. But it's totally up to you, some students take up to two years to find a perfect college so if you're one of those who want to observe all the options, just yes, yeah, start looking for a college right now. So how to choose a perfect college? First of all, make a decision based on states. Decide which climate is good for you and which is not. Do you want to have an access to an ocean or you don't? And maybe you have some friends who live in a particular state. Maybe you have some relatives who live in a particular state. So that might be a good idea to move to that state because you know that there are some people who might help you in a difficult situation. Another thing is to choose a college based on programs they offer. Maybe you know already what exactly do you want to study. So just look for colleges which offer 
that particular degree. Definitely consider a price. There are colleges which might cost 12,000 per year, but there are also colleges which may cost you 5,000 per year. And trust me, 5,000 is really cheap. Actually, I have a video on my channel where I shared with you the most cheapest colleges in the United States. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. Another important thing which you need to do while choosing a community college is to make sure they offer an international student program there. You can do that just looking at their website, but honestly, some websites can be really creepy, so better shoot them an email and just make sure that they have that, because some colleges don't offer that, and if you start sending an application, you'll get in trouble understanding that that's actually not for you and you cannot apply there. Okay, so let's assume that you decided on a college and you really want to go there and you really want to study there. What to do next? I know that there are a lot of companies who can offer you help in sending an application and doing all the paperwork, but trust me, you can do it on your own. I actually was the one who hired a company to do all that for me, but as soon as I got here and understood how all this process works, I realized that I could have saved uh, 500 bucks. So yeah, if you want to save those 500 bucks, let me tell you the process of applying to a community college. So the first thing is going to be to open their website and click on International Student Program tab. They will have that tab. If they offer International Student Program, they will have some specific website for that program as well. So you just click on that tab and you click on applying or new students or new student information or apply for a college or something similar to that. Let me show you an example from my college. So when you open their website, you just click on international tab and you click future and how to apply. Pretty simple, right? So on the tab how to apply, it will bring you the list of steps which you have to do in order to apply for this college. It will also say the list of requirements, it will also say what you need to do before you begin your application, and it will also will talk you through the whole application process. You can fill out your application online or you can print it out, fill it out and email it via like post office or something, but I would prefer to do it online because that's easier, that's faster and you definitely know that they will get your application. So as you can see, the application requirements are not that difficult here. Applicant must be 16 years old or older. You have to submit your application. You have to submit your proof of English proficiency, which is IELTS or TOEFL score. And you also have to pay 54 application fee, $54 application fee. That's it. So basically you just pass your English or TOEFL exam, get your grades, you fill out application online which is super easy and fast you pay application fee and you just need to be old enough to apply for a community college here's a little trick you need to know 16 years old is a minimum age to apply for a community colleges only in washington states all other states of america they will require you to have a complete secondary education because sometimes people who are 16 years old they might not have completed the, their secondary education yet so in washington they don't care you still go into school but you're 16 years old go ahead apply for a college in other states they do care so if you are 16 but you still go into school and you haven't graduated yet you won't be able to apply for a community college so just keep that in mind when you decide in which state you want to live in. Let's take a look at that application a little bit closer and I'll explain you all other details. The first part is going to be about your general information, your first name, last name, your contact information, your home address, your telephone number, etc. The second part of the application is talking about your education interests. So that's where you will pick a quarter where you want to start your education at the college, you also will decide on which program you want to attend in that college, so make sure that you look through the list of programs which they offer on their website, and you'll have to write down the name of this program in this application. Third part is talking about your English proficiency, that's where you mark your TOEFL or IELTS scores. In the education part, you'll just write down all your previous educations which you got. Fifth part is very important as well, it is talking about your financial support and your sponsorship. To apply to a community college, you'll have to have enough money to be able to pay for your education. To prove that you have that amount of money, you have to 
mail to a college a bank statement which says that you have that amount of money how much money do you need to have let me explain that when you look at your college website it will say uh, how much would it cost to study there for one year if you attend like for example 60 credits per year it would say for example eight thousand dollars but it also will say that approximate living cost will be blah 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 so for example eight thousand dollars to study in a college and another eight thousand dollars to live like to buy food to, to pay for your apartment and transportation etc so in your bank statement you have to show that you have those 16 thousand dollars in this case they care about one year of education so you don't have to have enough money to cover your education for two or three years so sixteen thousand dollars gonna be enough i do understand that if you're a student you don't have that much of money but they don't require you to have that amount of money on your bank account it can be your parent it can be your relative it can be your friend who offers you that money it can be someone who want to be considered as your sponsor. When you apply to a community college along with an application with your IELTS or TOEFL scores with application fee, you'll have to mail your bank statement as well. The seventh part of the education is about your visa information. So you would check that you are getting F1 visa here. The eighth part is your emergency contact. So whom your college should contact in case they cannot reach you. I would just put your parents in there or maybe best best friend but no parents would be better and in the part number nine you'll have a little checklist where you can verify that you got all documents needed and that you mail in them all together in case you have any questions do not hesitate to ask your college support or international student advisor from your college there are gonna be a lot of like emails and contact information. So if you are not sure what should you do next, just shoot them an email and they will explain you everything in details. So the general application package will include your application form, which you can fill out online or just on paper. It will require your IELTS or TOEFL exams. You'll have to scan the result of your exam because when you pass this exam, they will mail you on your address the like a beautiful paper which says your scores and which also has your identification number. So. Um, you shouldn't lie about your uh, IELTS exam scores or TOEFL exam scores because they will know. Okay, so you have application, you have IELTS or TOEFL exam scores. You'll need to pay an application fee. How to do that? It will also be explained on the website. If you fill out the form online, they will offer you to pay the application fee at the end, for example. You'll need your high school diploma, but not for Washington State. If you are 16 years old, but you're still going to school and you don't have your high school diploma, you don't have to add it to your application package. But if you're applying to any other states, you would have to have your high school diploma there. Also need to add a bank statement there, which proves that you have enough money to pay for the education and for living expenses. And you'll need to add a copy of your passport. Pretty simple, huh? No additional exams, no recommendation letters, no math test or something. You just pass English test and after you just get all your documents together and mail them. If you get approved, the college will notify you, they will send you an email and after they will send you I-20 form. And as soon as you get your I-20, you can go ahead and apply for your F-1 visa and the embassy. How to do that? I'll tell you in my next video. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you won't miss that. Guys, if you like the video, please go ahead and click the like button. If you have any questions, go ask them in the comments. And as always, have a good day or a good night. Bye.